across Newfoundland and Labrador. You're listening to the Performance Hour on CBC Radio. My name is Jamie Fitzpatrick. In this next band, we're going to hear The Middle East Meets the Southern Shore. And that's not what they sound like. It's actually a literal description of the guys in the group. The band is called Every Seventh, and they came together when Jeremy Walsh from Mobile met Irin Bayazitolu from Turkey. They're based in St. John's, and they've made a pair of albums so far. The latest is called Bada Baba Bada. Every Seventh, a St. John's band, and I'm joined now by two members of Every Seventh, Irin Bayazitolu, who I think everyone tends to call Turk, correct? Correct. And Jeremy Walsh. Hi. How's it going? I won't tell you what they call me most of the time. All right, we'll stick with Jeremy. It's not safe for air. What's the story on this band? Uh, when the legend of every seventh is is written many years from now, how will people say that it uh, that it all came together? Aaron, let's start with you. It starts with this Turkish dude coming from Turkey to Newfoundland to Mon and meeting this guy from uh, up the shore or. We should call it down the shore because it's southern. Up shore. It's up, up the shore. shore. It's up the shore. Okay. The real shore. <laughs> southern shore. And it's not mobile, which I used to call it when I first found out. But uh, it's, uh, it's a mixture of uh, east, meat, and west. The band started unofficially between me and Jeremy as early as 2000. And uh, official launched our first CD in November 2010. The reason folks call you Turk is because you're from Turkey, as you just mentioned. What brought you here? Uh, education brought me here. Mon, uh, in particular, and uh, well, they, they call me a bunch of different names Turk, Turkey, Turkey Nader, Turkey Lou, Ninja Turkle. I dressed up as a Ninja Turtle my first Halloween, and they called me Ninja Turkle, which was pretty original. Uh, big T, Turkish delight. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was education, and um, soon enough I realized that uh, it's, it's more than just education, and because I really, really do like the, the culture and the people here, so I decided to stay around. Jeremy, uh, do you remember first meeting this guy? Was it um, you were in the same university residence? Is that correct? Yeah, we were both in Dole House, and I think I actually remember walking down the corridor and uh, seeing saw this new guy playing the guitar. And so I sat down and started talking. And I think the first thing we did was argue about what notes were in a minor scale. <laughs> and at the time, I don't think anyone was knew that he knew a melodic minor and I knew a harmonic minor, and so. Yeah, because that was an argument that kept on going for a while. So we were both budding music geeks. And I think that's what—that's how we stuck together a little bit. Yeah. You got the minor chords figured out since then, right? Yeah, we we got it. We got it all down pat now. And you started playing music together fairly fairly quickly, did you? Yeah, the first thing uh, I think that year we played with a group from the house, and we played a town show in the old breezeway. And uh, was it the old breeze? It was the old breeze, and we won. Uh, I think Doyle House won the talent show after five or six years uh, for music that night. We played Hotel California, the acoustic oh, version yeah. of it. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So that was our first, uh, our, our first on stage together. And I, was I playing the drums that time? Or I, I no, can't remember. Uh, I think you were playing the bass. Okay. Aaron, when we listen to uh, the music of Every Seventh, do we hear uh, much of your uh, musical grounding from your early days growing up in Turkey? You don't particularly hear the Turkish um, influence per se. You, you you hear a big bowl of soup. You know, it started with classical and then uh, was influenced by uh, some some Eastern melodies. But then I went to Spain and got some flamenco education there. And when I came to Canada, I was influenced by, you know, anywhere from Latin to rock and, and blues. So I never use a pick. You'll hear a finger-picked flamenco type of style on the guitar. But when you combine it with uh, some funky, you know, Western bass and, and rock rhythms, it, it sounds really interesting. I guess I should throw the same question at you, Jeremy. I mean, fair is fair. Do we hear the Southern Shore? <laughs> uh, well, I think it's funny because for me it was kind of full circle. When I was young, I wanted to be a rebel, and all I listened to was rock and you know hard stuff, Metallica, Chili Peppers, that kind of stuff. And I resisted the, all the Irish. But now, in my uh, in my budding old age, uh, I'm starting to get back a lot to the Irish stuff. So I'm working on it. But mostly, uh, I think most of my influences will be the hard rock side of things. Uh, Craig, your drummer, isn't here today, so uh, I, I have to ask you guys to speak on his behalf. What does he bring to this to this trio, this collective? In my opinion, he's an expert in, in rhythm. What's important, and, and this is this happens in each member of Every Seventh, is is we listen before we produce. Craig, as as the backbone of the of the beat to Every Seventh, that's that's what he brings on the table as well. 
I have to ask you before we move on, uh, Aaron, for a guy who's from Turkey, you sound very much like a guy from St. John's. Uh, how long did it take you to uh, adopt the full towny accent and guys? Well, uh, I think it's both towny and, and sometimes even uh, language from around the bay because uh, I lived with a guy from Port Basque. So he, he spoke like he had marbles in his mouth most of the time. And I remember he was teaching me some of the sayings, but when I met Jeremy, it's, you know, 200 kilometers an hour when he's speaking. So I, I really had a hard time understanding him, but I had to, if, you know, wanted to make this relationship work. But it was about two or three years later, I started having dreams in English, first of all. But then uh, one day, I uh, Sundays used to be the laundry day in residence in I, I saw a few boys, boys, pass by my room and I said, Geez, by what do laundry do? And I said, Wow, that sounded like a Newfoundlander. So that's that's so the, there you were. Yeah, and I'm I'm Turkish. I'm 100% Turkish. I'm going through the citizenship process uh, very soon, but I love this place and I can prove that I am Turkish to you by saying, Senin de burada olmak çok güzel bir duygu. Uh, radyonda özellikle bu programda çıkıp uh, bizim geçmişimizi anlatmak oldukça heyecan verici. Are we allowed to say that on the radio? Absolutely, it's PG five, so you can certainly. <laughs> the, all the Turkish has taught me, you can't say on radio. <laughs> That's all I've learned. So, guys, we're going to hear a song from your second album now. This one is called "I Wish." What can you tell me about it? I Wish is a dark slash light song. You know, everything in your life is unpleasant in that particular day. Your work, your relationships, your your home, your future, your well-being. Uh, and the only thing that you can, or I could, think about doing to combat that was to get in the uh, in the laundry room of our basement. And I, I seem to like the write laundry music room. in the laundry yeah. room, yeah. <laughs> And uh, just write that tune um, with with some help from Jeremy. I think uh, it brings out the best, in uh, particularly in me. And somebody you know wants to use it for a film soundtrack. Is that right? We did a a cheesy cheesy B as called it because it's cheesy B movies. In the movie, we were actually playing this song at a music festival, which was then attacked by zombies. It was quite horrific. I don't know if the movie's been actually shown. He, he, no, it's not. Uh, he's working on it, and I believe it's, uh, it's, it's, it will be available over the next few months. We'll check out that song, and we'll ask. Uh, we'll tell the listeners they can picture whatever they like. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us here, Jamie. Every seventh with a song called "I Wish." If you want to hear more, or if you'd like to buy the albums, you can do so at the band's website. Now, the spelling is a bit tricky, so the simplest way to find it is to go to our blog and follow the link from there. So you can start by going to cbc.ca slash performance hour. And if you live in St. John's, you can also find the music of every seventh at fine retailers like Fred's Records and O'Brien's Music. Across Newfoundland and Labrador, you're listening to the Performance Hour on CBC Radio. My name is Jamie Fitzpatrick.